We've been covering quite a few DWI cases in the Hudson Valley this month. Two weeks ago, 18-year-old Joseph DeBellis got six months in county jail for driving drunk and killing a suffering classmate. Monday, Somers Jamie Picard was sentenced to at least eight years in prison for drunk driving oh, the wrong way on I-287, killing two. And yesterday, Yonkers David Ponchurik was found out that he'll be behind bars for up to seven and a half years for driving under the influence, pinning a mom and her infant under his car. Now, a Mayapak woman is going to spend six to 18 years in prison for a fatal drunk driving crash last summer. News 12 Jonathan Gordon is talking with the victim's family tonight who hope to talking about the real consequences of DWI will prevent another family from feeling their pain. So Jonathan, what did they have to say? Well, Ian, this was supposed to be James Krakow Sr.'s 62nd birthday today, actually, but instead of celebrating, the family decided that they were going to talk about the real loss that comes when someone decides to drink and drive. Nothing's bringing my father back. You know, we're going to have to, you know, live with this for the rest of our lives. James Krakow Sr. may be gone, but his family hopes no one else feels this pain. You take so much away from, you know, killing somebody and first for nothing. May impact Maggie DePerna killed Creco Sr. last June during a drunken fatal hit and run on South Lake Boulevard. He was on his way to a Friday night of karaoke. Instead, first responders found him dying on the side of the road. He was a big hearted individual. DePerna had a history of drinking and driving. Authorities say she was also drunk behind the wheel when police arrested her the day after killing Kreko, and she pled guilty in a separate DWI case just 10 days before the fatal collision. No amount of time served is going to be enough time for the, you know, my dad's life. One third of all fatal crashes in New York are alcohol related, according to state police. You're impacting another person's life when you make a decision like that. I, I would hate for this to happen to another family. The Kreko story is a sobering reminder. It doesn't have to be this way. So, Jonathan, is the problem of drinking and driving getting better or worse? Unfortunately, Ian, the numbers don't look so good. Data released just this month from the U.S. Department of Transportation shows that more than 11,000 Americans died from alcohol-related crashes in 2020. That's when the data came out. That is uh, the most it's been since 2008. So, clearly, there's been an uptick over the last couple of years.